Hi, my name is Tim Sasserchi. I'm Product Manager of AS Interface at Pepperell & Fuchs. Today I'm going to talk to you about programming the RS Logix 5000 software with an Allen Bradley PLC. I'm going to be using the L32E PLC. And I'm going to be programming the AS Interface Gateway. The Gateway has been complete, completely configured with the IP address, subnet mask, and Gateway. And also the network has been completely configured and set up and I used a store and run on the gateway to make sure everything was set. So the next thing to do is go into my RS Logix 5000 software and start the programming. I'm going to be using version 20 of the RS Logix 5000 and this allows me to use the EDS file to completely configure the gateway. So let's get started. So now I want to show you how to program the Ethernet IP ASI gateway with the Allen Bradley RS Logix 5000 software. So first thing I want to do is download the correct drivers. So I'm going to go to our website, pepperl-fuchs.us, and just type vbg-enx in. This will pull up the three different gateways that can be uh, an option for you. Here's the single network gateway for Ethernet IP, dual network, and then dual network with safety monitor. That's the one I have, so I'm going to click on that. And there are two two items I want you to download. The first one is under the software section. The first one is the EDS file. The second one is the example projects and add-out instructions. So I did that already. It's on my desktop and I've also unzipped them. So the next thing I want to do is start my RS Logix 5000 projects. I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to use the Compact Logics L32E. And because I'm going to use the EDS file, I need to use version 20. It's the only one that's supported. Let's call ASI Test. Choose OK. OK, here we go. So the first thing I want to do once the project is open is import the EDS file. It's under the Tools, and then EDS Hardware Installation Tool. Go next, register, browse, it's on my desktop. Okay, that's the file I downloaded. Just choose next a couple more times. It'll get that registered. Okay, then choose Ethernet, new module. When you're in the catalog section, you can just search VBG and then it'll pop right up. This is the gateway that I chose before from the web. And you can just choose Add to Favorites. That way it's always in your Favorites menu next time you want to use it. Choose Create. Okay, so now I'm going to choose the name. I'm going to call it Gateway 1. The main reason is I've got description files all ready to go with that exact name. So gateway 1, we know the IP address is the one we used in the last video, 172.18.30.70. And then I choose what I.O. I'm going to map, so I'm going to go to change, choose read write because I want inputs and outputs. And then under remote data you can choose what type of data you want to map, whether it just be inputs for an address or network 1, or you can choose to map as much as possible, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you what's available in a second. Make this a little bit bigger. So you can see here that I'm mapping 1 through 31A and B on network 1, 1 through 31A and B on network 2, analog nodes 29 and 30 and 31 on network 1 and 2, and then the mailbox at large. Okay, so I'm doing that for both inputs and outputs. In the string is also the length, so it says 75 int. So I need to make sure that I change it to integer and then make the length 75. All right, the other thing I want you to notice is that these numbers in the beginning, 135, 171, keep that in your mind because we're going to use that a little bit later in this example pull the CSV files. There's a specific name for the file I want to do for this assembly of data. So choose OK. Everything looks good. You can see you got the RPI right here. You don't have to change that if you don't want. And then you got the input type unicast. 
that's fine. Okay, you can see the Aussie Gateway is right here, called Gateway 1, and if we go into Controller Tags, you'll see now your outputs are directly mapped and your inputs are directly mapped. Also on the input data, it'll tell you whether the connection is faulted or not online by this single Boolean variable called Connection Faulted. But if you notice, you just get one large array of data. You don't know exactly where the I.O. modules are. You don't know what they're called. So what I did was I did this for you already. If you go to Tools, Import, Tags, and Logic, go to the uh, project I had you download. It's under the uh, 066. And go to Description Files for RS Logics 5000 version 20 using ADS file. And remember I said, remember 135, 171, that's, that's the file name of this description file. Choose Import. Okay, no errors, no warrings, and it uh, imported over 1,100 descriptions. So now you'll see that I've got these, the, it tells you where the I.O. will start for network 1, A and B, network 2, A and B, analog, nodes 29, 30, 31 for both networks, and then your mailbox start. It does that for both inputs and outputs. So good. I'm going to uh, download in a second. But one other thing here too is if you drill down on the integer level, you'll see that the addresses are also spelled out down to the bit level. So we get addresses 1, bits 0 through 3, address 2, 0 through 3, address 3, and so on. So the next integer has got nodes 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, So they're all mapped out directly, very easy to use. You don't have to pull up, open any manuals to get to the I.O. So let's go ahead and download this project. Make sure everything's running properly. You notice I didn't make any ladder logic. Didn't have to uh, worry about that. Everything's directly mapped. Okay. So you can see here, there's no error. If I double click on it, you'll see that the status is running. It's great. And if I go to my I.O. table, for example, my input data, I'm going to show you node 10, for example. That's my e-stop. My e-stop is released right now, because I can tell because here's node 10. It tells you which ones. All the bits for node 10 are on, 1, 1, 1, 1. When I go ahead and press the e-stop, all the inputs go off, zero. That's all it takes get everything running. Uh, thank you for watching this video about AS Interface. Please see our YouTube channel for more information.